Hey there everybody, today is um, Thursday, 7th day of March 2024, about 10.10 10 or so in the morning, and I am on what's called Post Office, uh, I'm not sure if it's Street or Avenue or whichever, but it's called Post Office, anyway, in Galveston, Texas, and I'm going to make another video of some absolutely gorgeous houses, and you can see, this is our first entrance here, and so... You see the sidewalk that they've got here that runs through there. All that nice detail around everywhere. Ceiling fans on the porches. And this back here. Alright, so since we're so close and you already see a part of this, we'll go ahead and just add this one. This one's 1808. There was the one we just passed, was 1816. I'll show you the stairs on it. You can see it's got the double porches as well. Kind of hard to get the whole thing. Let me back up a little bit. Yeah, and that's that's it there. So that's that. And then before I close down here. So this will be the whole start of this video. This is obviously the next house. See how big the thing is. See the color of it. I think it's pretty. I like all the details on it. Even the yard, the landscaping, everything is nice. Let's see if I can get backed up here, right in front of it. And there's that. All right, we'll keep going on to the next block. I'm gonna be walking down one side and then walking back up the other. All right, so here's the next beauty here. Again, the double porches are always a big thing for me. See a little bit of landscaping here. And again, these houses are so close. I'm going to go ahead and add this one now. You see, it's got nice landscaping. I love the wraparound porches. And this happens on this side, and it happens on that side. Top and bottom. The doors, do you see the, the front doors up there? Hopefully those are coming through good. Very, very nice. So... Got good landscaping here. But they feel like green on this one, but I think it works for this house. So good job. Alright, and here's the next one. Again, you can see the double porches. These need a little bit of paint job and stuff on it, but still is a good looking house. Got these big shutters here and everything. Very nice details on that. And then the neighbor to that one is this one. And this Yellow happens to be my favorite color, so that always stands out. And then you see they've added these purples and blues on the uh, on the scales there, the fish scales. And that looks very, very nice. And then it's got these little, I'm not sure what you call these, half circle, half cylinder things on the porches. But it's even at the very, very top. So it's a very nice house. And then you can see some of the some of the work here. All right, all right. I would say this is the next house, but I would be lying to you. This is a mansion. <laughs> this is not just a house. I want you to look at the size of this thing. It looks really good. You see the red stairs over here. You see the gold on the black fence here. They've got lights on there. Very nice looking place. Here you'll get a good view of the red stairs there and all the way up to the top. And this fencing goes on around this thing. Here, I'll give you a better view of it this way. You see the porch up the top, the porch there, and then even the underneath arches, you can sit there as well. So this one is a very nice place. All right, hope you like this one. Okay, this is our next house as I cross the street. You can see it's got uh, definitely aged boards. Uh, a woman does live there. I just saw her walk in. And you can see the details on this house. It's got golden details on it. All up and down. So that's this one. Okay, so the next one I'm doing you see is this big yellow house. And it is big. And it's pretty nice. It's got the two 
porches again, top and bottom. As you can see, the door is a little strange, but it is what it is. If you look up at the very, very top, there's a nice detail feature in there. See so like that. All right, we'll go look at the next one. All right, here's the next house, right beside the one I just shot. You can see he's got two really nice porches again. <clears throat> you might be able to tell by now the um, the porches, and this one's actually for rent. But the porches always catch my eye. And these ceilings are actually green. Typically, people paint them blue around here. But these are green, like to match the shutters. So, hope you like this one. Okay, this is the next one here. You see it's a white house. And it is big. Got two porches. Got the nice white picket fence running along here. They got AstroTurf as the grass, so that's easy to mow. Got a nice light there, a little palm tree. American flag. Very nice setup. And that symbol up there means this was a survivor of the 1900 Galveston hurricane. That was crazy. And here is the next one. Look at this thing. My goodness gracious. This is big. You can tell it's got age on it. It's got, got a weather vane right up right there. Got a couple of wraparound porches, looks like. You see this bottom one here, and it goes around. And then that top one goes around. Let's get around here. There's more details to see. And there's a sign. This is the Landis McDonald House. Confederate veteran and capitalist Henry Landis, 1844 to 1919, had this house built in 87-88, designed by prominent architect George E. Dickey of Houston. And then more and more, I don't know, maybe you'll be able to see that and read it. But you see all the details in this thing from the top all the way down. A lot of details very cool oh and I just noticed too on that weather vane that's actually a well up there that's that's pretty cool okay after walking a couple of blocks here's what I've run across like the dormers at the top and then it's got just the one single porch but it's all the way across which is very nice stairs the white picket fence that I like and they've even got blinds up there to shade themselves from the film when they need to pretty nice all right then this one's right beside the one i just shot and again you can see it's got the double porches and then of course they got the palm trees fronds and all that stuff out here and uh, it's got purple accents to the house and the house is a is a little creamy sort of yellowish type of a very light yellow so that's that house Okay, and this one's right beside the one I just shot. You can see it's more of a simple house, but it does have two nice dormers up there. It's got a uh, three-quarter porch, I guess I would call it, and then great big wide stairs. So, still nice enough that I think you should see it. All right, so I'm walking up to this beauty. Take a look at this, this gigantic Victorian here. And I want you to see at the start, this sidewalk that they put in just in the front of this house runs all the way down there to the corner so that's pretty neat with this old wrought iron fence here and then again look at the size of this place this is gigantic this is 1302 post office it's got a very very old door on it you can see very intricate though in its details that it has remaining. Very, very, very nice. And again, just to show you one more time, you see the sidewalk continues right down this way. So, very good job on this one. Yeah, this one here looks like a kind of a Greek type house to me. I like the columns. I like the color. It's got nice landscaping, a lot of bushes and stuff. There's a puppy dog on the porch. Hi, puppy dog. Hi there. It's a beautiful house. Oh, I know. I know. It's okay. 
Like this one is the next one right next to the barking dog. And you see it's got a nice porch on it. Very good looking dormers up at the top. We like those. And just a, a good, nice house. All right, hopefully you like this one. This one's truly a three story. You see this bottom part down here is one story. The first porch that we see is the second. And then that porch is the third. So my goodness, this thing is big and tall. Hey, you see that kind of stained glass went up there, but it's made different. Not sure how to explain that. It's pretty cool. It's got nice details too. So hopefully you like this one. All right, so this is the next house. You can see it's a blue with maybe a, a hint of purple in it. It looks blue in the sunlight, but also in the sunlight down here in this bottom corner, it looks sort of purplish to me. But it's got double porches. It's a great big house. It's 1128. Got nice palm trees there. You got a nice good sized yard as well, which you don't see in some of these. I right, hope you like this one. Okay, I've skipped quite a few houses to get down here. And this one, it's in need of a paint job. But see how it's got that back there? And then it's got this front part here. Kind of hard to capture in a picture video definitely does it better but it's an interesting house so hopefully you like that one because it does have the porch at least at least a half porch okay here's the next one I want to bring to you I like the color on it it's got a nice porch looks like got seahorses up there on the porch so not too bad got nice stairs there too all right, so this is the next house. I'm, I'm crossing over the other side of the street. That's a nice looking house. I've got puppies. Hey guys, it's okay. It is a good looking house. Right in this neighbor's house. It's a pretty good looking house. It's got a full porch. Little windows up there. And all that. So, I like that. All right, and this little house here is a 1015. It's got a little porch, but I like those bay windows there on the side. Hopefully you, you notice those right there. There's two of them. And then the stairs right there. And this place happens to be for sale. So if you're interested in it, there's the info on capturing that. But there it is as a full look. Okay, then our next one is right beside it. You can see it's got a couple of bay windows back there too. I like the color of it. It's got the yellow and then the kind of a I'm not sure what you call that maybe a reddish orange something like that got a hammock on the porch got a nice porch got that tree there with no bark so those are always different so pretty nice house okay right next door you see this one's got three bay windows down there on the side got the single front porch I love the color again yellow always catches my eye well, it's a pretty much a surefire thing for me Got this little wall here. But overall pretty good looking house. And we've got a little driveway there. 